Hi, Ayla. I think it's the sixth measure that I want you to work on left hand wise. It has second finger on C sharp, first finger on the E, fourth string. My dog's helping you. And then you move, Ziggy. Then you move your pinky onto the D and pull it down. So I'll do it again. C sharp, E. Leave your C sharp down, play a D, and pull down for C sharp. Then this chord is the G7 from Andantino with an A inside of it. So there's an A there. And the rest of it you have right. Now for your right hand position when you play this, like a, a stuffed animal, anything, just to encourage your wrist to be rounded, more rounded like this. So the pig will help, and you just want edge of the sound hole. You're kind of playing here. Just pop it back here. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. And a ball or a stuffed animal, whatever it is, just to help you remember, oh, I have to have my, my hand like this. And then I also like to think of a piece of tape you can put on your guitar face to just help you remember to play at that 45 degree angle. So you put it under the strings and you're pulling towards your elbow the whole time with Wrist, and that would be a perfect position. So you can see. And the pig can help with that. Or your dog if it's getting your way. Ziggy, go lay down. Take my tape. Okay. So now I'm going to videotape really slowly the B section for you. So let me get my hand in a better position. Oops. I'm totally forgetting it. That's right. Bad Bob comes back again. You were playing Bad Bob earlier with your index finger, but it's four and two. This next chord, I call it Bad Bob's Evil Cousin. First finger, first fret on the fifth string. Third finger, second fret on the B string. And then you just add four and two back again. So this is a good little exercise to practice. From bad Bob, one fret lower, evil cousin with one and three. So practice that. I'll start again. second time through, we go to C sharp. So you're going to use your pinky to play fourth fret C sharp. Back to G7. F sharp. And then you go back to the A section. So just watch right hand wise. It's the same rules as the A section where if it's a broken chord, you're going to have your ring finger on all the E's. Index finger is always going to play those open G's. And middle finger of the melody goes on to the B. So find a prop for your right hand, maybe a piece of tape to keep you at the edge of the sound hole. You're gonna play over that road and um, learn the B section and listen a lot to it and keep your sight reading up every day, like 10 to 15 minutes of sight reading. Because you're almost in book three, you're gonna wanna be able to read the music because of all the fingerings. It just makes learning the pieces. A lot easier if you're doing a lot of listening and you're fluent at reading. So let's do do this. I want to see a video from you, and um, I'll reply to it, and we'll get a lesson in eventually. If you want to send it tonight, go for it. I'll reply if you have any questions about what I just did. 
see ya.